Welcome to Drone News Now. Welcome to Drone U HQ, the home of Drone News, the Ask Drone U podcast, and drone education taught from experience, unlike the other guys. In our first piece of drone news, a man was arrested in northern Michigan for shooting a drone out of the sky. The kicker is, you're probably wondering, is the first time a man who shot a drone has been arrested slash indicted slash convicted? And the answer is no. A man in Florida was arrested for shooting a drone out of the sky, which was a delivery drone. Yeah. Okay, why'd you shoot at it? Because I thought it was somebody who turned around playing games on my house. I got you. Where did you see the drone at? Right above me. What, do, you, do you walk out and just kind of show me? And he had minor charges used against him. In this case in northern Michigan, it was a police drone that was being flown by the local township. And he is actually being charged with destroying police property. What's interesting here is that 18 U.S.C. 32, which is the federal law slash regulation, they can't be the same thing, regulation, that it's all about the destruction of an aircraft. While drone pilots are forced to follow federal rules for aviation, the same federal rules that are used to protect pilots have never been used in the history of the drone aviation since 2016. Isn't that funny? Anyway, in a more egregious piece of news out of California, which is really interesting, as of February 26, a man is wanted for attempted murder of a drone pilot. A man driving a late 2003 Camry shot at a drone pilot while he was doing an inspection in California. This raises concerns of public awareness of drone operations fueling extremist actions, and it could be an argument for why displaying remote ID to the public is a terrible idea and in no way helps the national airspace system or safety therein, which is the entire goal of the FAA, in case you didn't know. So does this raise safety concerns? Does it showcase why remote ID might not be a good solution? Well, you decide in the comments below. Now, lastly, in drone-related news, as many drone pilots do use Adobe's Photoshop, After Effects, and other programs to manipulate their media, the FTC has announced today that it is cracking down on Adobe for using dark patterns to make it difficult to cancel any subscription plan that you people use for cloud-based systems like Photoshop uh, and other services as a whole. Uh, many users have been frustrated and complaining with the hidden and deceptive cancellation processes, but also cancellation fees. As a result, many people are switching, at least what I see on X, are switching to alternative tools like Photo P for editing. Now, there are many different photo editing softwares out there now, as Photoshop is no longer the head honcho. There are actually numerous editing softwares, and you can even use tools for free now, like, that's right, ChatGPT. Anyway, I digress. So will this push creatives away from Adobe, or will it showcase the dark patterns of cancellation policies by many companies really frustrate the heck out of us. Anyway, more to be seen about that. In our last piece of drone news this week, BYD, the car manufacturer out of China, is partnering with DJI. BYD has partnered with DJI to integrate drones in their vehicles for traffic and navigational management. That's right, drones will fly out of your car, tell you if there's traffic ahead, and reroute you to different potential pathways and routes to have a shorter travel. This is not the first attempt of a car manufacturer partnering with a drone manufacturer, as the very first attempt was actually done by Land Rover and Sky Hero a few years back. So could, be the, could this be the next step in smart traffic management? Again, you decide should be interesting. As I will say, I think the biggest trend that I've been hearing in my circle of friends is that a lot of people actually don't like all the automated features in these new cars as it just drives prices up and so are the headaches. That's right, they're driven up by all the crappy sensors and things that are going off. Anyway, long story short, it's gonna be interesting to see if this particular pattern reaches the American shores or whether it stays abroad as most BYD cars, I think have been export banned from the United States. So it just goes to show how more and more is going on between the domestic and foreign market when it comes to technology. But with that, that is our drone news of the week. We've got a couple of Whiskey Tango Foxtrots coming in at the end of the week. And just want to say thank you again for listening in, checking it out, as we hope 
to help give you the insights and information and intelligence going on in the drone market, all taught from experience. Thanks again for joining us as always for the non-AI edition of Drone News Now. And it's just one happy mustachio bashio over here at Drone U. We'll see you next time.